Video Gamers Oasis Presents Late Sunday Night Text Adventure Gaming with Jeremy Glacier Room and Dragon's Lair. A short... Glacier Room and Dragon's Lair. A short time later, the passage widens into a large cavern. The air in the cavern is quite chilly. Look, gasped Vitar, pointing. On one side of the cavern is a giant wall of ice the tip of some subterranean glacier. Its surface is smooth and shiny, reflecting their lantern light like an enormous mirror. It's beautiful, Geranda whispers. After admiring the mirror of ice for a few moments, they cross the cavern and continue down the passage. The air grows warmer again, and the walls of the passage here seem scarred and blackened as if by some tremendous heat. The passage turns a corner and suddenly opens into a, another wide cavern. The floor of the cavern is strewn with rocks and boulders. Sitting in the middle of the cavern is a mighty dragon, smoke curling from his nostrils. Did you get the spell for take, talking to beasts in their own tongue? One, if so, two, if not. and. Would you know it, I actually picked up that spell in the Warlock's uh, uh, Stone Hut earlier in the game. So let's click one. Yes, I have. One. Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. As they enter the Dragon's Room, the dragon gives a deep-throated roar and moves to block the tunnel on the far side of the cavern. That dragon looks pretty mean, says Geranda. Geran, I have an idea. Let's try casting that spell for talking to animals. Maybe we can convince him that we're friendly. Good idea, Geranda unrolls the spell scroll, looks at the dragon and chants, Utarak Parlo Babalon Nitft Fol verbalate. Gradually, the dragon's roar seems to coalesce into understandable language. Be gone, little creatures! The rumble seems to be saying. You cannot pass by Leblanc, the dragon! We mean you no harm, Leblanc. Bivadar shouts, we only wish to continue on our journey. Your score has just gone up by one point. Next page. And Dragon's Lair. The dragon... Dragon's Lair. The dragon gives a bellowing laugh, which shakes the cavern walls and covers Bivatar with a cloud of ash and smoke. Not a chance, little one! I guard this cavern because of an agreement with the great warlock Grawl. He agreed to dispose of it, my treacherous twin brother, Berlong. In exchange, I promise to guard this tunnel from trespassers for the next three, next thousand years. And there is no way that you would break this oath, asked Geranda? Only if I saw my despicable twinling belong again, then I would know that Grawl had failed to honor his part of the bargain, and I would no longer feel duty-bound to follow my promise. What will you do now? Try to kill the dragon? Try to trick the dragon? 
or try to sneak past the dragon. I wonder if we can trick the dragon. Let's see what happens if we choose number two. Two. Dragon's Lair. We'll never get... Dragon's Lair. We'll never get past that dragon, says Bivatar. We better turn back. Not so fast, Biv. I've got an idea. Jiranda calls out to the dragon. LeBlanc, did you say that the warlock Grawl vowed to kill your twin brother, Bolong? That is true, the dragon rumbles. That's funny, because uh, we just saw Bolong a little way back. LeBlanc's eyes, Jiranda, warily. How do you know it was Bolong? He told us, answers Brevitar, jumping in. Besides, he, he looked exactly like you. He said that if we should happen to run into you, we should tell you he's waiting for you, asks Jorenda. Adds Jorenda. Your score has gone up by one point. Next page. And Glacier Room. Glacier Room. The dragon thinks for a moment. I don't believe you, he announces finally. Then come with us, and we'll lead you to him. LeBlanc thinks for a long time again. I will come, he growls, but I will let either, either of you out of my sight for a moment, and if either of you should attempt to slip past me, I will burn you in an instant. Good enough, answers Jorenda bravely. Follow. Jiranda and Bivitar proceed um, Leblanc leading the dragon back along the passage. Presently they arrive at the cool cavern with the mirror of ice. There, yells Jiranda, pointing at the glacier. There is Burlong. Next page. And Glacier Room. Glacier Room. LeBlanc looks at the ice and sure enough he sees what happens to appears to be his treacherous twin brother. While dragons are not stupid, they are often naive. And this dragon has spent most of his life sitting in one room. He has never seen ice or a mirror. And so who could blame him when he mistakes his own reflection? for his hated twin brother. LeBlanc rears back on his powerful hind legs and bellows a fiery challenge. The reflection responds in kind. The dragon then directs a gout of fire right at his foe, followed by another and another. The flame washes across the ice, which begins to melt. LeBlanc sees his enemy unharmed and redoubles his efforts. Barrages, barrages of fire strike the ice. Torrents of water begin pouring up the glacier, swirling about the room. Next page. And Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. Jiranda and Bivitar are swept off their feet by a wave of water and are washed down a tunnel away from the glacier cavern. Waves of icy water splash all about them. Finally, the waters recede, and they find themselves in the middle of the room where they first met the dragon. Leblanc is nowhere in sight. Wow, close call that time, says Jiranda, wringing water from her clothes. Nice thinking, Duran. Well, it's safe to continue now. Let's get going before LeBlanc comes back. Bevatar begins picking up their possessions. As he lifts the lamp, he moans, Oh no, just what we need. The lamp looks like it's, it's going out. Jiranda examines it. It must have gotten damaged by the water. Even as she speaks, the light from the lamp grows dimmer. Did you get the scroll with the light 
spell from the rock worm tribe. Unfortunately, I did not. Number two. Two. Dragon's Lair. The light from the lamp sputters and grows even dimmer. The gloom. Oh boy. The Dragon's Lair. The light from the lamp sputters and grows even dimmer. The gloom of the cavern closes in about them. This is terrible, moans Juranda. Without the lamp, we can't go on. We must turn back. We can't turn back now, Duran. I have a feeling we're getting really close to the end of our journey. But how? But you know how dangerous the underground is without, with no light. We can always try back later. Try again later. Well, if the light goes out, we'll we'll never make it back anyway. Bivitar argues. We may as well continue. It's time to take an important decision. Continue without light, or turn back while you still have the chance. Let's give it a shot. We're going to win this one. Number one. One. Straight tunnel. Today's video has been sponsored by Pi Network. Pi is a new digital currency developed by Stanford PhDs with over 8 million members worldwide. I'm sending you one pie. To claim your pie, follow this link https colon forward slash forward slash mine epi dot com forward slash video gamers oasis and use my username video gamers oasis as your invitation code hi this is jeremy from video gamers oasis speaking make sure to follow my twitch channel https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot twitch dot tv forward slash video gamers oasis and chat with me while I'm streaming.